And also today, the man who created probably the most talked about moment at any convention broke his silence today, Clint Eastwood. He finally addressed what he was thinking with the monologue to that empty chair. Here's ABC's Dan Harris. I've got Mr. Obama sitting here. Whether you thought it was rambling and cringeworthy. What do you want me to tell Romney? I can't tell him to do that. I can't do that to himself. Or hilarious and brilliant. I, I'm not going to shut up. It's my turn. There is no denying it was the most talked about speech of either convention. And now, in an interview with his hometown paper in California, the Carmel Pinecone, Clint Eastwood gives a blow-by-blow -blow of how it came to be. The morning of his speech, as he flew to Tampa, he still hadn't chosen his words. They vet most of the people, but I told them, you can't do that with me because I don't know what I'm going to say. Fifteen minutes before he spoke, he arrived at the hall, still no plan. Then, right before he took the stage, inspiration. There was a stool there, and some fella kept asking me if I wanted to sit down. When I saw the stool sitting there, it gave me the idea. And, uh, and I, I just... Uh, he I acknowledges he stumbled a bit up there and that he went longer than he was supposed to, but, quote, when people are applauding so much, it takes you 10 minutes to say five minutes' worth. After the speech, Eastwood went backstage where he says Paul Ryan thanked him. They were very enthusiastic, and we were all laughing. You're, you're absolutely crazy. The speech immediately became a media phenomenon, but Eastwood himself had no idea until the next day. Tonight, the Hollywood legend is unapologetic. Of his detractors, he says, quote, they are obviously on the left. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.